tank converters. So why are we talking about septic tank converters? Well, as you probably know by now, the rules have really changed for septic tank owners. So if you're a septic tank owner, um, your whole life as a septic tank owner is going to change after the 1st of Jan 2020. Why? Because every septic tank that was installed before 2015 must now, every septic tank that was installed prior to 2015 must now apply for retrospective planning approvals, uh, approval. So if you're a septic tank owner, you've got a tank that was installed before 2015, you must now apply for what's called retrospective planning approval. Now, it costs 350 quid to apply for retrospective planning approval. Uh, planning approval, sorry, <laughs> I get my teeth back in my mouth. But just because you spend 350 quid on submitting the application doesn't mean that you'll be approved. Let me give you some examples that are on the government website. It says if your tank smells, if it leaks, if it's not soaking away properly, if it looks tired and worn, if the mortar is crumbling away, you know, for if, if it's subsidence there, there's a million and one reasons why you will not be given approval. Septic tank owners that do not become approved, their septic tank will become illegal and they'll be um, made to stop using it, to decommission it until they put it in an approved condition. And so approved installers will be used to replace or relocate your septic tank to the tune of 15 to 25 thousand pounds now that is the typical route you've got to go down right and it's the route that people are going down right now as we speak but the reason i've made this broadcast is because there's an easier way right to make your septic tank right approved right to help you to pass right it's called a septic tank converter and this is a government approved system that will make your septic tank legal and compliant with all the new rules and regulations without having to spend out 15 20 25000 quid let me show you how the septic tank converter will help you and save you money let me show you come over here have a look all right so here we go. Here's a typical septic tank. It's a cross section. And um, let me just take the, the tank panel off there. There you go. So what happens is this, right? You get all the waste from your house will go into here. So all the tank waters, so you got all the poo, all the wee goes into the septic tank like so, all right? Then what happens, all that horrible sewage, then in many cases, this uh, will just discharge into the soil. And it's this form of soak away that is making people angry, making the government want to change things up. Because as you can tell, as you know, with raw sewage, you've got cholera, you've got germs, and they're trying to stop this now, right? They're trying to get people to put in these new biodigester systems, which as you know, costs 15, 20, 25,000 quid. The septic tank converter will make your septic tank legal <laughs> without having to spend 15 to 25 grand. Let me show you how it works, right? Let me show you how it works, okay? So if I just turn that off there, oh, hold on, there we go. So basically, here's your septic tank still, okay? So, and here's your soak away pipe. So what you do first of all is you dig a hole next to your septic tank, just like so. Nice little hole, take about 40 minutes, 50 minutes to do, right? And then all that you do is put the septic tank converter in the hole, just like so, right? And what I do personally, I put an inspection chamber in between the septic tank and the converter with a special filter in. And basically, it traps all the debris such as sanitary towels, baby wipes, nappies, etc. Right, once you've done that, that 
take you about half an hour to do all that. Just put the tank straight into the hole. You then just need to dig a little soak away pit, just a really small soak away pit. You run the soak away pipe into the soak away pit. You fill the soak away pit with a bit of gravel, like so. And now the septic tank converter will convert all that horrible um, sewage into safe, clean water, just like so. So now you've converted your septic tank over. And that's exactly how they work. And that is what the government are trying to do. That is what the government is trying to achieve. All right. So that's exactly how a septic tank converter works. So, yes, you can go out. Everyone right, has to apply for this retrospective planning approval. Everyone has to do that. But. It's going to be a waste. All the hundreds, thousands of people forking out 350 quid just to get their tank disapproved, right? If you, unless they then have to get an approved installer in, as I said, to spend 15, 20, 25,000 quid to put one of these electric biodigesters in, and that's fine. Do that. If you've got the money, and fine, not everyone's got 15 to 20 grand to do that. There is an easier way. As I said, as I've just showed you, to make your septic tank legal and approved now, it's called a septic tank converter. As you just see, you just literally dig a little hole, put it in. You and your builder can do it. You or your builder can do it literally in a couple of hours. Um, it's a non-electric system. And they're 2999 So, yes, they're 12. You'll save 12, anywhere from 12 to 20,000 quid by putting one in. But the more, most important point is that your septic tank will not only be approved, it will be legal and compliant before the 1st of Jan 2020. So I hope that's helped. If you want more free information, then just go to septictank.co.uk. I love giving people free help, free advice. Just give me a ring, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.